not, Texas State Bobcats have won eight straight and 13 of their last 14, including the Sunbelt Conference Tournament Championship. I think we're just getting started. Super excited that this has worked out the way it has. I think everyone finally kind of gets, like, has a taste of what we could really do here. And they don't expect to cool off heading into the NCAAs. They've competed against a lot of really good ball clubs this year, and the way they go about their day and their business um, is what has propelled them to win 45 ball games. It gives us a little bit of a confidence boost. I mean, we're just able to know that we can hang with the big dogs, or we are a part of the big dogs, actually. Now, in their 11 previous NCAA appearances, Texas State has never made it past the first weekend, but that may change this time around, considering the Cats, who are in the College Station Regional, swept Penn State, who they opened against earlier this season, then later beat regional host Texas A&M here in San Marcos. They feel like right now they can hang with anybody um, if if we play our ball game. I I think whenever we got put in the College Station Regional, you know, that's our first thought is, okay, well, we can hang with them. We can beat them. We can make it out of that. And so, obviously, it's, you know, going to give us some confidence. We're still going to have to show up, play one pitch at a time, and just do what we do best. Yeah! And this is what we work off season for. I'm pretty sure we all expect it to be at this point. I sure hope they don't cool off. I mean, uh, obviously, this weekend, we probably peaked at just the right time. And so, hopefully, we carry that momentum into us, um, which is where you want to be in May. We've talked about it all year long as we want to be playing our best ball in May. And so, hopefully, that's where we'll be. John High, Fox 7 Austin Sports. Two seed Bobcats open with Penn State Friday, 3 o'clock in College Station. Host Texas A&M takes on Albany right after.